Hey there, Aaron here back with some more RV maintenance. Um, dumping the waste tanks the other day and noticed that one of my gray tank valves is sticking a little bit. Um, so we're gonna tear it apart today and put new seals in it. So come along and we'll do it together. Okay, let's take a look here. You can see here that I have three waste valve handles. Uh, I have two gray tanks and one black tank. You can see that the top one and the bottom one are closed all the way. And um, let me see if I can get this out of our way. And you can see that, you know, those two are closed all the way. This middle one is for the kitchen sink, like I said. And it's really stiff. I mean, I can push it and hold it and get it to close but it just doesn't seal all the way. Um, and I know that because, let me pan over here real quick. We have a Valtair valve on the end of where I connect my hose and I did that so that I can close it off and just in case one of my other valves fails, I'm actually capturing the liquid. So when I take the cap off to install the hose, I don't get a bunch of liquid out on my shoe or whatever make a big stinky mess so. that's worked for me quite well um, and i'm glad i installed it because that's how i know that the kitchen valve is not sealing so that's why i'm gonna put new seals in it pipe you see coming down here is my kitchen gray tank and if i come up a little bit into here you can see um, i'll get some light up in here it's kind of hard to see but you can see the valve there with the silver handle there to the left and that's where the cable connects for the for the T handle I showed you previously. And then there are four um, bolts, um, kind of see them in there that we're going to pull out. And um, it's going to come apart and we'll put new seals in it. It's going to be stinky, you know, the grave tank, even the gray tanks um, pick up odor with food particles and all that stuff in them. So um, it's not the most glamorous job, but we'll get it done and it won't be too bad. Okay, let's see how far down we can get this liner. Whew, dinky, I can already smell it. There we go. Get the dirt out of your eyes. Let's get it down far enough to where you can get to these bolts, so. It right. makes this a little difficult because the nuts on the bolts are on the back side. The nuts are on the back side back here. So it makes it a little difficult because you're not going to be able to get uh, the ratchet in there. So we'll uh, take these loose. Super tight, and there's still a little bit of water in there, but it's just kitchen water, luckily. So, just a little gray water. Never hurt anybody, although it's stinky. Okay, so these, let's see if I can bring them out from the front. I think they're five, six. These aren't terribly tight, so it's not impossible. There's that one. There's the other top one. First one, we'll take a look at here in a second. There's a 
bunch of junk stuck in there. Okay, so I got this all cleaned up. As you can see, um, it's working a little bit better. Got a little gunk in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it some lube. Um, black gloves on here because these other ones are kind of bulky. A good lube that I used to use when I did pool work when I had a house. Um, sticks and bricks, so it's good stuff. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Alright. You can see here that this front seal wasn't too bad. It's been pinched a couple times. The seal in the back, this is what was causing a lot of the trouble. You can see it was completely pinched. Uh, completely pinched in the in the side. So uh, another thing I wanted to point out with this is in this new kit you can see these bolts are really long. Um, and it looks like the factory length on all those except for this one was cut shorter. So I'm going to reuse this one because in the top rear this housing actually gets in the way and uh, you have to have a shorter bolt. So I'm going to keep the shorter one and I'll replace these with these new ones in this kit. So um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and put this in. Let's check it out. Okay, let's stick this seal on here like this. Just like that. Okay. Now we can come back with this. Okay, I went ahead and opened it up just so I could see the seal and make sure that it's uh this way. Make sure that we're not pinching that seal. There we go. Now the tricky part with that is it has to slide. This flange back here has to slide in a groove, so you have to kind of angle it. And if sometimes you, you angle it wrong, you can actually push that seal off. So this has to go on in the same sort of manner. without screwing up the seal. You get snug down as good as you can with your finger. And that kind of helps line things up a little bit. Alright, we got the short one at the top. Which is almost too short, to be honest. Just wrapping this up here. Um, let me show you here real quick. I finally got it, and I know the light's getting kind of low, but so I got it all buttoned up. Um, those lines are kind of in the way, but 
Uh, got the bolts back in it, as you can see, and now it's good to go. So it works. At some point it's probably gonna need a, a new valve, but for now that'll do. And um, if I'm gonna replace that one, I'll go ahead and replace the other two as well. So, um, yeah, it's a lot to get into, uh, but you know, it's not too bad. You just have to take more of that under underpan down. I have the uh, Blade X um, valve. You can kind of see um, my valve doesn't say Bledex on it, so I went on Amazon, and um, this is the seal they showed with my style valve. So um, I picked it up and it worked. It's the right one. You know, they make them for the inch and a half, the two inch, and the three inch uh, waistline. So I'll put the links down below uh, for the for the seals on Amazon, uh, the gloves, um, and that magic lube that I use. It works really well. It's super stuff. So um, I recommend it for any kind of seal that encounters water um, that's really what it's made for like i said from the pool industry so um, i'll link that down below as well you can see now my gray tank one is closed gray tank two is closed and black is closed so that uh, took care of it um, just some new seals pretty easy stuff um, the worst part about it is having to um, get near that gray water it's kind of stinky and uh, i did get some on my arm so it's time for me to hit the showers. Yeah, I think that uh, that kind of wraps up today's project. Um, I get down there and, and put that belly pan back up and button it up and I'll be good to go. So until next time, um, hopefully you uh, got something out of this video. And uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you can get notifications when we post new videos. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Safe travels. Bye. Thanks for checking out our latest video. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, click on the little bell to get notifications every time we upload a new video. Thanks again.